Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to education, online services, placement drives and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit the red button so that you get latest notification first on your screen. So as you all know, Goldman Sachs off campus drive has started and today we'll be discussing the application procedure eligibility criteria of Goldman Sachs. So let's start the video. So coming to the eligibility criteria, so students who are passing in year 2022 are eligible to apply for the role of new analyst and students who are passing in the year 2023 are apply applicable for the role of summer internship. So they will be giving internship for students who are passing in 2023 and full time job for students passing in 2022 and locations are Bangalore and Hyderabad. So let's see the application deadline. Application opens from 23rd November 2021 and closes on January 3, 2022. So who all are eligible to apply? It is a since it is an engineering campus drive. So all engineering graduates are eligible to apply who are in their final year and pre-final year for the roles of new analyst and for an internship role. So as you can see the exam pattern. First of all, it, it consists of an aptitude test that will take place on January 9, 2022 and followed by technical test that will take place on February 13, 2022. So this is only for only for those who are shortlisted through aptitude test and those shortest shortlisted post aptitude test will also be engaged in one month long coursework in the build up to the technical test in order to he help them to prepare and upskill for the next assessment. So this means that if you are selected in aptitude test, they will give you a one month training so that you get prepared for a technical test. And then you can give your technical test. If you crack your technical test, then you'll be shortlisted for interview, which will be conducted in fourth week of February, that is 2022, till second week of March 2022. So this was all about the program timelines. Coming to the eligibility criteria, who all are eligible? So this program is open for all engineering students in India across pre-final and final year of graduation and post-graduation. So even post-graduation students are eligible to apply. 2022 new analyst for graduation in 2022 and for 2022 summer internship it's for graduation in 2023 so if we go to the register now button you can see application for three roles that is summer analyst new analyst and other internships so the summer analyst is for batch students of 2023 and new analyst is for students passing out in 2022 so since I'm passing it out in 2022, I'll select as new analyst. Then you can see the apply now button. So now here the application starts. So let's see one by one. So first of all, position preference. So you must select your recruiting year. Then what position are you applying for? New analyst or new associate? So in particular, which new analyst? So you can see for new analyst is for final year undergraduate student recently graduate and for new associate it's for final year graduate student pursuing an advanced degree such as MBA, JD, MD, PhD. So who have basically has two to five years of experience. So this was about new analyst and new associate. Now coming here your location preference. So since I'm from Karnataka I have selected as Bangalore and the program you can select it as engineering campus hiring program and division is general so work authorization for india so are you legally authorized to work in india yes so will you require sponsorship for visa no if you're from india you will not require so if you have a valid password you can select as yes countries india nepal and bhutan and do you have to study abroad? Do you have plans to study abroad like your know, master's future education? So I don't have a selected as no. And month and year available to start the work. That is when your final year ends, you can just clarify that and put the same date. So save and continue. So now next page is of contact information. So fill in your name, your first name, last name, middle name, then your email ID. Then you can give your country address, complete address details along with your phone number and save and continue next. 
coming to the third page that is education your education details first of all fill in the university which you are studying in and expected date of graduation that is when your eighth semester ends then country of study then grading system so my grading system it is out of 10 and my current grade then this is not a mandatory field you can just skip it then next degree category so my it is bachelor's in engineering so major subject is mechanical and production so this was all about education details going to next page now coming to the next page that is skills and qualifications so first of all you need to add the languages which you know and your spoken proficiency and written proficiency so i know four languages i have selected accordingly and technical skills so you have all the options like c c++ data networking html java python so the fields which you are familiar with you can select and the level of proficiency you have in basic intermediate advanced so you can select accordingly then you can save and continue so next there are some disclosures so like uh, have you previously worked in goldman sachs you can read this and select accordingly so i have not no so next is are you current a former employer this thing so no so do you hold or ever held any position with government entity no so do you have an immediate family member who within five years has held a position in government entity no do you have an immediate family member who have any relationship that could give rise to an actual up or perceived conflict of interest so no read all these details carefully and select accordingly next is self identification so they ask your gender then your race then if you are indian so asian indian then if you have any military experience no i don't have and your disability status and also that are you the first generation in your family that attend who is attending university so like uh, if your parents have not attended university then you can select yes if your parents have attended then you can select no then save and continue so next page is affiliation and uploading of resume now coming to the terms and conditions that how your resume should be so if you see they have given the required format personal details education details employment history or work experience personal development or skills and before you submit what all you need to check for example spell check and they are telling you that print out a copy and ask yourself the following questions like will a recruiter find my cv easy to read and impactful is the content concise and effective is the application a good reflection of me and my experience so basically they are saying that your resume should be best and it should be short it should be a one page resume and things you want to highlight you need to bold them so that recruiter sees that first so this was all about how your resume should be so if you upload your resume and submit your application you land into this page where you can see that your current status is application received so this was all about today's video about the application procedure of goldman sachs so if you find our content informative i request you all to please subscribe share like our video and stay tuned